Will Aliens Colonial Marines offer something special when it launches in February 2013, or will it be just another bug hunt? We recently went hands-on with the campaign and two of the game's multiplayer modes to find out. Winner, get a welder through that damn door. If all goes to plan for developer Gearbox and publisher Sega, Aliens Colonial Marines will capture the tension and action of James Cameron's Aliens and recreate it in video game form. On that level, it looks to be on the right path, with locations, characters and weapons that feel reassuringly familiar if you're a fan of the movie. A host of multiplayer features also make the game feel as robust as one of its titular Marines, with extermination and escape modes both seemingly informed by Left 4 Dead's monsters versus humans mechanics. For the uninitiated, Colonial Marines boasts a campaign that supports up to four players online and two players in split-screen. This section sees your player dropped off on LV-426 to investigate the human settlement of Hadley's Hope after a previous team went missing. Those familiar with the story of Aliens will know that this is a reference to what happened in the movie, and if you're a fan of the film, you're definitely going to get a lot out of the little details scattered through the campaign. You're accompanied by the cyborg Bishop, you come across the turrets that Hicks and Co set up to defend themselves, and perhaps most importantly, you're equipped with the useful but tension-building motion tracker. After digging in and defending yourself from an alien attack, you investigate further into the facility and equip yourself with the M56 smart gun, as used by Vasquez and Drake in the movie. This locks onto enemies automatically as they appear in front of you. The downside is that it chews through ammunition, and Gearbox makes the most of this tension by restricting supplies. In multiplayer, Extermination Mode sees you trying to accomplish objectives while being hunted down by a team of Xenomorphs. Think Left 4 Dead scavenge mode in space. <laughs> In this mode, the Marines have to work together towards a common goal, such as arming barricades or guarding certain areas, while different breeds of aliens attack. For the aliens, the general idea is to rip the Marines apart in the most gruesome fashion possible, either with the soldier class, who is strong and well-armoured, the lurker, who is fast and can pin Marines down, or the spitter, who can spew acid from afar. These bastards aren't so tough. The other multiplayer mode we played was Escape, where a team of four Marines take on a team of four aliens and try to move from checkpoint to checkpoint, at least for as long as they can. The same alien classes apply here, but the Marines have to work even more closely as a team to do things like welding doors. Thankfully though, the Marines can fight back with automated turrets, and like Left 4 Dead, there are regular points to resupply safe from enemy attack. This was undoubtedly the most fun and tense mode that we played during our short time with the game, and with friends, it should be a lot of fun. If we have any concerns with the game at this stage, they're mainly graphical, specifically the strange way the aliens explode into a green mess. In general, the game doesn't look to be pushing any technical boundaries, which could work against it with another shooter, Crisis 3, launching two short weeks after. You can decide for yourself when Aliens Colonial Marines releases on PC, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and Wii U on February the 12th, 2013. <laughs> Marines.